Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry and I want to tell your story. I was traveling as I do, back to traveling, and traveling for work uh, can be grueling. It can also be beautiful. You meet lots of things and people along the way. Well, I kind of have an indicator in my being when a flight is going to delay because you travel a lot, you know. And I think I'm over three million miles on one airline. So anyway, um, I knew it was going to delay, but I really wanted to go home. So it's like, eh, I'll wait. Flight's delayed, flight's delayed. I'm like, mm, this is going to cancel. I should leave. I found a hotel room. I was like, ah, no, it's going to go. We board the plane. We're sitting there. The lights come back on. I met this great young man next to me um, because I had given up my seat for someone else on the other side of me. So lights come on and he says, oh, they're about to do something. I'm like, yeah, they're about to do something. So they announced that the flight may not go because the pilots have been working too long and they're now in the time that they have to stop and rest. So okay no flight but we can't get off the plane yet we have to sit on the plane for another half an hour i know because i had tried to leave the plane to go to a hotel room so so i get off the plane we finally can get off the plane and we go and people were complaining and you know it's travel but i realized yesterday that for all the negativity that we see out there there's a whole lot more good and the good is usually quiet and you just have to tip the scale in the favor of good. We were waiting for the shuttle. No shuttle was coming. Somebody said, oh, go upstairs. You can take that one. That was the wrong shuttle. I'm exhausted. My legs are like dragging behind me. But a young man came and helped me. I was like, ooh, he's tipping the scale in the, in the favor of good. And then um, we we're standing waiting. Finally, a shuttle comes. So many people. It's packed. We can't get on. It's Okay. You know, good is always going to win. The man who's driving the shuttle in front of us is going to a completely different hotel, says, get in here. And I said, you know what? There's two women that were with me. Can they get in as well? He said, yeah, they can get in too. So they were like, but this is not our shuttle. This doesn't say it's going to where we're going. I said, well, he said he's going to take us. You can go or you can stay, but I'm tipping the scale. So we go. Um, he brings us to where we need to be. And then um, I get my room. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm all those things. But then I stepped outside. And I have a balcony. Look at that moon. <laughs> I have a balcony that's over the concourse. And so I could watch planes that weren't going anywhere also coming in. And in my room it's not loud at all and this is absolutely beautiful I think first of all I, I think I got the last room here <laughs> but I also believe even in the midst of whatever chaos we're going through there's a whole lot of beautiful a whole lot of beautiful and our energy can tip the scale way that we need it to go there's a whole lot of hatred in the world today. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of despair. There's a lot of loss. We can tip things. I was really hurting and trying to make it through the airport. And I got on a crowded shuttle and there was a man smiling. And when I came off, he came up after me and he said, Dr. Barry, and I said, yes. And he said, thank you so much for your stories. People, it doesn't take all of us to get it. Just enough of us to see. Love you. Hey, Moon. Hey, Moon. How you doing, Moon? <laughs>